Good morning, everybody. In uh, today's class, I am going to present a few points on the inclusive education in teacher education. This education is a powerful instrument of social change and often initiates the upward movement in the social structure, thereby helping to bridge the gap between the different sections of society. The educational sense in the country has undergone the major change over the years, resulting in better provision of education and better educational practices. Inclusion in education is an approach to educating students with uh, special educational needs. Under the inclusion model, the students with special needs spend most of their time with non-disabled students. Inclusion rejects the use of special schools or classrooms to separate students with disabilities from students without the disabilities. When we go through the meaning of inclusion or what is mean by inclusion? Inclusion is understanding your school community. Inclusion is valuing everyone. Inclusion is about the needs of the whole community. Inclusion is celebrating diversity and individuality. Inclusion is not an add-on or an afterthought. Inclusion is everything valuing other cultures. Inclusion is knowing and understanding the needs of all people. Inclusion is not just about the IEPs. Inclusion is reflecting on your practices and inclusion is not just about access. Inclusion changing the way things are organized so they suit people the needs. And inclusion is everybody's responsibility. Inclusion is providing flexible learning. Inclusion is more than just a the policy. And when we based on this meaning of this inclusion, we can conclude that this inclusion meaning is it's defined as a learning environment that promotes the full personal, academic, and professional development of all learners, irrespective of race, class, color, gender, disability, sexual preference, learning styles, and as well as the, the learning. This inclusive education means that all students, regardless of their strengths and as well as their weakness, become a natural part of this mainstream of school community that this disability results in a variety of learning problems which require the special educational arrangements by way of modified curriculum, the special instructional strategies, use of special aids and the equipment and specialist support for optimum learning and achievements. Here this is slides focusing on the children who learn together, they can live the together that is. <coughs> And this inclusive education is a new approach towards educating the children with disability or learning difficulties with that of normal ones within the same roof. It seeks to address the learning needs of all children with a specific focus on those who are vulnerable to marginalization and as well as the exclusions. When we come to the definition of this particular inclusive education, according to the booth in the year 1996, inclusive is a process of addressing and responding to the diverse needs of all learners through increasing participation in learning, cultures and communities and reducing exclusion within and as well as the from education is nothing but a inclusive education according to both. And according to the MHRD in the year 2003 in India, inclusive education means all learns all learners, young people with or without disabilities being able to learn together in ordinary preschool provisions, schools and community, educational settings with appropriate network of support services. And in according to the UNESCO in the year 2009, they defined inclusive education is an ongoing process aimed at offering quality education for all while respecting diversity and the different needs and abilities, characteristics and learning expectations of the students and communities and eliminating all forms of the discrimination is nothing but a inclusive education. Based on these above defined definitions, we come to conclude that about the, the definition of the inclusion. This inclusive education can be defined as an approach to improve education system by limiting and removing barriers to learning and acknowledging individual children's needs and as well as the, the potentiality. 
So after knowing the definition of inclusive education, just we go through the differences differences between this traditional approach and as well as the inclusive approach. So the first and very important aspect for this traditional approach education for some particular group, specific group only, and whereas the inclusive approach is for education for all, everyone is inclusive. So therefore, we call it as a inclusive education in general. And its traditional approach is static, whereas the inclusive approach is flexible. So based on the individual differences of the learner, based on the differences among the learner, so we have to be modified the change the the syllabus <coughs> and the in the classroom situation the teacher will start with reference to the individual differences of the learner. And whereas in the traditional approach it's a collective teaching that is, and whereas in inclusive approach the individual teaching. In the traditional approach, the teacher is failed to reach each corner of the students. Whereas in the inclusive approach, the learn the teachers they have to reach the unreached corner of the students and uh, uh, help the students to overcome from their problem. Then only we can say that this is uh, inclusive teaching. Whereas in traditional approach, learning in segregated areas, but in inclusive approach, learning is integrated areas. In traditional approach, teaching is emphasis emphasizing on learning subject oriented, whereas the inclusive education emphasizing on the child centered subjects. Diagnostic perspective is in the traditional approach, whereas in the inclusive holistic approach is there. And in traditional approach, opportunity is limited by the exclusion, whereas in inclusive, equalization of opportunities for all students. Here in the traditional approach, disability is viewed, but whereas in the inclusive, it's viewed as a curricular view. And labels the children's disability wise in the traditional approach. But whereas in inclusive approach, planning is made on ability level and opposes all kinds of the label, all kinds of labeling among the, the students. These are the some of the main school reform, uh, main differences between we found among the traditional approach and as well as the inclusive approach. So when next one is what is need of inclusive education in India. So before that this one we have to go through this this history of this particular inclusive education uh, this was uh, previously inclusive education was considered it as a integrated education and after the integration education it changes into a hamlet as a inclusive education and in this uh, the district education program in the year 1985 it was introduced the national again in the 1986 new education policy and in the 1987 it was projected integrated education for the disabled and it was launched in 1987 and in the 1995 the person with the disabilities act it says and in 1974 um, it's in the integrated education for disabled children scheme launched in 1974 the previous one that is and in 2000 uh, the sarva section abhiyan was introduced giving more important scope to this inclusive education and in uh, by 2020 uh, this one uh, in the March 2005 it was announced that the making all schools disabled friendly by 2020 and now we are in the 2020 uh, I'm sorry to say that one whether uh, we will reach this one aim that is disabled friendly maybe the main effect because of this corona effect we may fail to reach this particular goal in the 2020. So like this, uh, this based on these particular, the history of this inclusive education in India, so we can say that why it's necessary in, in particular in India, in this inclusive education means here, the teacher here is as a facilitator and of course in the new education policy and the new uh, national curriculum framework, in that one because of this fact uh, the teacher is now as a, as, not as a teacher, is as a facilitator, he has to be facilitated all the needs requirements of the learner within the teacher limitation that is and this teacher here is a facilitator who has the opportunity to utilize the uh, resources that diverse groups of the children can offer and to provide such an opportunity uh, here he has to develop an inclusive learning environment in which all children feel valued and like to contribute to the classroom processes and in turn benefit from such processes historically the root of inclusive education lies in the education of children with disabilities up to the 1970s. The children with disabilities were sent to the, the special schools and resulting in excluding them from the, the mainstream of the, the society. 
and again in the 1980s attempts were made to integrate children with special needs in the normal school itself although this was a positive step forward it means the child having to adapt to the needs of the normal schools and its curriculum rather than the other way around uh, these are the needs of this particular inclusive education in india next we go for the principles of inclusive education so these are the some of the major principles of uh, inclusive education that no discrimination with the students the teacher they should not discriminate among the students whether uh, the uh, the students may be the physically challenged or divang students or deaf students dumb students or visually impaired that is the teacher they should not make any discrimination among any students or gifted or talented or above average or below average like this and equal educational opportunity to all with reference to their abilities that is both the physical ability the mental ability and as well as the social so, sociological aspect of it the school adapt to the need of the students that is the school adapt to the needs the main aim of the schools it should be the fulfill the needs of the students that is so education why we have to give the education means it should be not only expert to become expert in particular subject instead of that one the main aim is to develop the overall development of the the learners that is and the students views are listened and they taken seriously that is if the students express any their demands demands means that within the limitation that is and if the students they express their opinion their suggestions their views uh, we have to give you know, freedom to the students to share their thoughts share their information in front of the the teachers or within the the groups that is the individual differences between the students are a source of richness and diversity and not a the problem each unique students uh, here in this point we have to be recall that one that's a twin born students the the kids they are not unique and in the same way in the classroom also the students they are not unique that's a different um, they have the different different abilities uh, then therefore depend upon their different abilities and we can say that based on their individual differences so we, they, are, uh, they are expert they are talent in different different fields different different areas it's a duty of a teachers they have to be identify the the different abilities the talents and the identify the potentialities of the students uh, a learner and we have to give uh, chance to the or uh, we can create the opportunities for the students to involve in those uh, potentialities which the students they have themselves at it and this will help the this principle will help the each and every student involved in the education system and next uh, these are some practices of the inclusive education this practice of developing inclusive schools and then uh, the gender ratio that is gender ratio of children attending the inclusive schools that is when is go for this one that say uh, the male disabled is 18% the female disabled are 14% and the male non disabled is 30% and female non disabled is the 38 uh, 38% and this uh, survey it is of with reference to the in the 2011 census that is not present one so at present now we are in the 2020 changes various in this percentage also that is and the need and importance of um, this uh, uh, inclusive education that is to fulfill the constitutional responsibilities to enable children to stay with their families for the development of healthy citizenship for achieving the universal education developing feeling of self respect for the use of modern technology for social equality and as well as self develop the self realization self learning among the the learner the individual they should not uh, feel uncomfortable or inferiority complex among themselves uh, compared to the, the other normal way and the aims and objectives of this inclusive education uh, the education for all protection of rights identification of skills among the these inclusive learners development of social consciousness which is very important uh, to prepare for the new challenges to lead their life successfully happily development of the brotherhood sisterhood to improve the quality of education and as well as the inclusive education and in the year 19 to in the uh, 2009 national curriculum teachers education frame national curriculum framework for the teacher education has stated that inclusive education should address the needs of the children with the disabilities they have to fulfill the disabilities 
बहुत ही फिजिकल मेंटल एंड एज वेल एज ए सोशल डिसेबिलिटीज 